Hello beautiful people, we are here back again on my channel. I'm really sorry that I have not been uploading much last week. This week I am filming content every single day and this is a pretty content heavy week for me because I have a lot of PR that I need to film and also I am having my small elopement wedding this Friday so it's very exciting. I'm going to be filming my makeup that day so stay tuned for that. I'm very excited for it but other than that we are doing island girl makeup I am a little bit out of breath as I'm having and experiencing some allergies to you if you're hearing me struggling to breathe I am struggling to breathe so for today I started with already prepped face I actually just filmed a video prior right before this video on how I do my morning skincare routine so it's pretty in-depth but it's not going in-depth of what else needs to be done to have a nice and glowy skin this is something that I just do to prep my face right before makeup and or not before makeup I sometimes just go just like that and go about my day do nothing else so I have already filmed a video about that if you're interested to learn more please go ahead and to my please go ahead and check my description I should be linking my previous video right there but other than that let's get started I do like to do my eyebrows right before I do my skin prep but that is already done so I'm going to be taking a wet towel um, and just wiping off any skincare products off my eyebrows because I feel like that would glide on a little better if I were to have empty eyebrows I'm just going to dry them out as well so they're nice and dry and easy to work with so I want to fill in my eyebrows today I will be using my NYX precision eyebrow pencil this is my favorite one I currently use shade gray and I have mentioned prior in my YouTube videos that I use gray just because it matches really nice with my hair tone color. I don't have much red. It's more of like green in my hair. Um, I do have a balayage at the ends. Um, my hair is really gray. But other than that, so I stay away from pencils that have the red undertone. So whenever I use like a brunette or a brown color for my eyebrows, I tend to have that reddish tint in there and I refuse to do it anymore because it just it doesn't look that good. And so I decided to try a gray undertone because as you can see like my natural eyebrows are pretty faded right here so pretty faded right here so this is something that I have took in consideration and therefore I am going to draw them in very lightly with a gray pencil and they look a little more gray other than looking brown if you know what I mean. Let me just grab my mirror real quick. Okay my mirror is here and we are ready to go. It is extremely hot in this room, um, so the extra glow is probably because I'm sweating. But I cannot have my AC on just because if I have the AC on too loud to film, I don't have central air, unfortunately. So we are going to brush them up. I like a soap brow look as of right now, so you'll see what I do. For the island girl tile, we for the island girl style, we're trying to do a very natural look. It's like barely having any makeup on, so for my foundation I'm actually not going to be using any and I'm going to be also integrating a sunburned look as well so I'm just going to lightly fill in the gaps that I feel like need a little more work and just draw a little bit of hairs in there so that it looks more fuller as you can see like it looks much more fuller and there and like I said it looks a lot natural and close to my hair color than um, the brown or brunette pencils. I've also tried ash brown and everything it just gives like a red undertone and I'm not obsessed with that because I have very cool tone hair color. So you can see here I feel like it just matches the, the skin and the color of my hair really really well. The key thing about the eyebrows I would not press it too hard because if you press too hard it will just give too much pigment off and you probably won't run out of your eyebrow pencil real fast. So you just 
press it very lightly and slowly fill it in like you're barely touching it there you go my eyebrows are always sisters they are never twins and and if they were to be twins they're not identical they always look different i've had a bad relationship with my eyebrows for the longest and if i will find any picture i'm gonna show it here because i had a bad situation and there was a thread lady that did remove too much of my eyebrows um, back in like 2016 and that brow that brow you know a brow that brow was famous back then and therefore i decided that i want to give myself box eyebrows and so i kept drawing on my thin threaded eyebrows the box eyebrows and and i kept getting them thinner and thinner and therefore my eyebrows did not grow and they're and I was trying to find ways to grow them out and it was not growing so I, I was like literally devastated I have tried so many oils like gro hair growing oils um, the only thing that worked is rubbing in castor oil every single night before I go to sleep I was literally drenched in oil like right before I go to sleep and in about two months or so my hair started growing that was crazy like i do not trust anyone else with my eyebrows than myself anymore but they look much better now <laughs> they're not perfect but they look so much better and i am upset okay so these are my eyebrows they look very nice and natural you could kind of tell that i'm wearing any makeup on them and also maybe if you don't know much about makeup like men will probably not notice that you have those eyebrows on and you could just go like that in about a your day and you could just go like that about about your day i have to worry about wearing any makeup especially as we're doing the island girl aesthetic but we are going to be putting some makeup on as you but we are going to be putting some makeup on because eyebrows is not the whole makeup tutorial like i wish it was which i wish it was that easy but it's not easy and we are going to go ahead and follow up with again now we're going to go in with a soap brow um gel that i use currently i had now i'm going to move on to brow gel i currently use soap heist this is by brow code i love their products they love working with me and i love working with them this is not um the sponsor video but i've I just have it because I worked with them before and honestly this type of soap like nothing I've tried before really really cool like I really like it I don't I really don't mind it and they come it comes in with the brow highs water and it's actually rose water which is really cool and it smells like rose and I'm just using their brush from uh, one to three it's called or you can use any eyebrow brush and then you just go ahead into the soap it smells really good like like the soap brow and then you like brush out the eyebrows and it just stays there I actually like soap instead of like gels more and I prefer that because first of all it feels so much like more neater um the gels would have too much residue do and I don't I don't think I like it too much um, they actually had brow gel before that I've used they sent it to me it was nice but I did not like the um, the outcome at the end it did not look and it was kind of messy. so this one I could maneuver easier and just easier to work with that's just my opinion all right so the brows are done and I think they're really really pretty we're gonna move on to the face now um, I, like I said, already prepped my skin. We are going to follow up with like a primer. Well, actually it's not a primer, but it just gives me that nice and extra glow. This is Halo Glow Liquid Filter. You could use it as is, you could use it with foundations, concealers, blah, blah, blah. You got it. Like everyone knows Elf Glow, like Halo Glow. This is amazing. And if you have not tried this, what, what are you waiting for? This is so, this is so affordable. It gives you a nice summer glow and I think it's going to be perfect for this look. Someone in my previous videos asked what shade this is. This is light medium shade number three. I'm going to be mixing it with my hands. It does have like a little bit of a tint, like a covered, but mostly I use it for just like giving me an extra glow. And yeah, you could use it just like as is, which I will be doing today, but I'll be following along with a little bit of a concealer because we have a little bit of redness under my nose here. And I have like dots all over my nose on top and I hate it. <laughs> I have those dots because I'm having like an allergic reaction. I'm not sure what's going on, but yeah. 
I have those dots and my nose is irritated. I just keep sneezing a lot and so this area is very like dry. Please make sure that your hands are very nice and clean right before you go ahead and do this to your face. You don't want to contaminate the pores and clog them more. We love the halo glow. Okay, perfect. That is on. We are now going to go ahead with a little bit of concealer, but just a disclaimer, this may be a little light. I have tanned a few days ago. This may be like a shade lighter than what I am right now. I have not had a chance to buy a new concealer yet. For the concealer, I will be applying it to my hand. This way I have a lot more control on what I'm doing. And this is just a pro tip for makeup artists. If you are planning to do anything on your face, I would suggest putting it on a hand or like on a mixing plate where you could mix your products in and then blend it all out evenly. This way you have much more control, like I said in my previous videos as well. So I like to put the concealer on my hand here. This way I have a lot more control on what I'm doing and I'm not putting too much product onto my face. I like to do that with a lot of products, especially with like foundation. Therefore, in the summer, I'm not having too much product, like excess product on my face and it does not feel cake. This is just like a pro tip from like a makeup artist myself. And I'm sure you've heard it a lot in the other videos as well um, with other makeup artists. This is like a key tool to have the full control of your makeup. And I'm just going to blend it with my small fluffy concealer blush. And I'm just going to tap it in. As you can see, like it's already covered a lot and I only use like a few like a few amount of sealer. Let me know down below if you guys are doing anything this summer. I am a little bummed. Like a lot of people are working. That's the adult life for you. Like a lot of the people that I am friends with are working obviously. It's not high school. We are going to be working to afford to live here. But yeah, are you guys working or you're going to travel anywhere? How is your 4th of July? Because we are in July already. Um, did you watch any fireworks? I actually couldn't because it was raining and it was like a whole like a bummer. Like it was really, really bad. But yeah, New York, I feel like everywhere right now, it's been raining hard. Um, can you relate to that? Because I don't know what's going on with the weather. It hasn't been too good. And I'm I'm not going to be lucky for my wedding this Friday. It's going to be raining pretty hard as well. What an unfortunate situation, but whatever, it's fine. We are actually just going to be having a little bit of marriage celebration and then we'll be planning some figure as an anniversary in the future. So excited. I'm bringing a little bit of the concealer onto my lids. Therefore, I'm just going to a little bit, I'm just going to be working my way up. This way I prime my eye for the upcoming eyeshadow. It looks a little crazy right now but look I still have so much concealer left to use and I literally did most of the job already. I'm just gonna go around my mouth because it does have some redness but pretty much I just used like one swipe of the concealer and that's it. Like so much less product than I used before and of course if you are into like like a, and of course if you are into like less amount of makeup i would suggest to skipping this part especially if you're planning to go to the beach you don't need to have this you don't need to have this makeup on okay so the concealer is now on i did a pretty even job on like blending it all in um i do notice a little bit of creasing on my eyelids but what else is new i always have the creases over there i can't really stop myself from doing it i do have oily eyelids okay so for that we we are done. I'm just gonna go over my fluffy brush to set it all in a little bit. By the way, this dual brush is from It Cosmetics. It's for all over and the concealer. Perfect. I actually, guys, want to open up and try this new product. I, by the way, I still have the concealer, but new product from The Ordinary. Um, this is a little lip balm but before I do my makeup. Boy, I want to exfoliate and hydrate my lip. I'm ready for the lipstick at the end. I'm just going to wipe off the concealer that got on here. It's so cute. I'm going to add in a little bit. Okay, so it's like more of like a balm, which I like balm more than oils or glosses. I don't know what's the point of a lip oil if it doesn't feel like oil. I feel like 
it should feel like like this like a bomb um, I'm not a fan of lip oils lip glosses that much because they are sticky and I don't want to feel sticky on my lips so lip balms would do I think it hydrates really really good so apparently it has squalene and amino acid which work really really well together to make my lips look and feel this hydrated like it feels very light it does not feel like I have much on the lips and it looks really nice like shiny hydrating we'll see how that lasts as i go and i do say that i hate lip glosses and lip oils but i do love the look of it um i hate the feeling of it though i don't know if you're with me but yeah this is how i feel okay so now we are ready to go ahead with the cheek and i'm going to be firstly going with my blush i'm going to be using natasha denona cheek duo this is cream blush and highlighter my highlighter is crashed as you can see here so i'll be using the blush i cannot tell what shade this is um they don't make these anymore but i know there is a different packaging so you could check that one out and um, guys the cream blush from natasha denona is like really really beautiful and it looks really nice and that gives like that nice nicest like sunburn look and that's what we're going for with this island makeup i'm going to be adding the blush right underneath my eye right here this will bring out a little bit of more lift than the other placements i'm going to right like underneath to lift my face and actually give off like the sun hit my face and gave me that a little bit of a burn i'm gonna do the same thing on this side as well and then we'll move on to like the other part of the cheek and also the nose because the sunburnt look we need to have the nose burnt as well not just the cheek this will bring the whole picture together there you go now i want to go in with my finger and it's like that i feel like whenever you do makeup with your fingers you have more control whenever makeup touches skin like you have much more control of what is happening do you guys see the placement like it makes the biggest difference now i'm going to be dragging it like a little bit upwards like so like so here as well and a little bit onto my eyelids okay now we are going to follow a little bit of a line over my nose <laughs> there you go i don't want to go too hard because we, we could add a little more later on but i want to go on with a contour and bronze now i'm going to be trying the chubby stick from clinique this is a new contour stick that i've got i actually got it last night and i'm excited to try it because it looks very very interesting but i'm scared to see how it's going to be like i feel like it's going to be kind of red too red for this makeup but it looks like this and you could it's like retractable so like you twist it the more product comes out i don't want to do too much it's gonna go really lightly it looks like it will be kind of red and i don't want it red okay i'm going to have myself a chiseled jawline and for my forehead i've learned that if you have a lot of space on your forehead contour or browns like this like 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 a half of a hexagon like a half of an octagon i think i don't remember but uh, it's like two three lines three lines going at the angle and one straight and then i will add in a bit of contour line right here and don't forget we are adding a line here just to have a little bit of that point to the nose it will give like an illusion of a tiny nose and i added a little bit onto my eyelids as well i am honestly scared to blend this in i have not used this type of bronzer in so long and i think this could be a little too red or i could just literally use it as a bronzer more or less than a contour but it is a contour stick so i'm going to be blending it in with the manji blush brush so the chisel part area i'm going to go inwards like so and for the cheekbone area i'm going to go up i'm going to be blending the eyelids a little bit later so as far as of right now the blend is going really really well like it does blend pretty good i'm impressed and it doesn't look too red it looks like nice and bronze like i said it'd probably be more of like a bronzer than a contour stick for me i feel like my skin type and skin tone like requires more of a cool tone this is kind of too warm i may have got the wrong shade there you go 
don't forget the jawline. How many times I walked out of the house without my jawline blended? A lot of times. <laughs> I'm going to be taking a smaller brush like this one. This one is specific though for a shader brush. Perfect. And I will be going and mixing in contour on my nose. I love a good nose contour. For my nose contour, I will also be going up towards my eye. Here, my nose is so much thinner now. I'm going to now blend in the sides and of course the center. But the center, I'm going to be like tapping it in, you know? Okay, finally, we are blending in the eyelids as well. Like that. Okay, so I may have got the wrong shade but i'm not mad at it like it doesn't look too bad like it doesn't look too bad it actually matches my tan really well so i'll probably be using it until i get lighter but yeah i don't mind it at all it looks kind of good it looks, looks like i have tan on the island <laughs> okay now i am going to follow along oh now i am going to be moving on to the highlight for my highlighter okay so now i will be moving on to the highlight for my highlighter i will be using beauty light wand this is easy highlighter illuminator from charlotte tilbury this is a little bit of a rosy tone perfect and i'll be adding it a little bit on the cheekbones here and on the tip of my nose and also the bridge of my nose as well as you can see my skin is very glowy right now without the highlighter but as soon as i'm going to be adding in a little bit of a powder you will see the difference it will just look so nice like it will look nice you'll see it'll give me a few moments to blend it all in I'm going to be using Laura Mercier powder and a flat top brush and I will set in firstly my under eyes and then I will move down. I feel like whenever I set in my under eyes and just my eyes in general, it makes the biggest difference. It looks like it's just really nice and naturally glowy. It doesn't look greasy. So that is why the skin prep underneath was so important because if we are just to go out with the matte face, we're not going to have as much of the natural glow coming from the underneath this is why my skin prep is like really really important and this is what i strive to get like that nice illuminating glow underneath powdery product applying the translucent powder everywhere i think is necessary and not forgetting my forehead this is very very nice and glowy you guys i'm not sticky at all it just looks very nice hydrated glowy and perfect for the island what do we guys think about the current look we are now moving on to the eyes i wanna add in my base primer for the eyes we are doing a very natural look as well we are not adding any winged line as you saw i've added a little bit of a blush tint i also have added a little bit of contour to give like more depth in my eyes than just the concealer and therefore it just looks really really nice and all put together and also even like that's my goal to have that nice and even tint tones forgot to mention that this is tart to be mascara i love this mascara okay so the mascara is done i want to add in a little bit of freckles i'll be using the brow pencil the one i've used earlier for my eyebrows and i just want to add in like a few random dots i'm sure you could see here this way we look nice and sun -kit. don't forget adding freckles onto your nose very nice subtle freckle look this will just give the illusion of being <laughs> being sun kissed i love to add cute little freckles if you you have freckles you guys you guys are beautiful just know that you are kissed by the sun this is what everyone told me in the childhood is that if you have freckles you are kissed by sun and that's just so beautiful i love sun and being kissed by sun just sounds amazing so you are beautiful remember that i know there's so many people that are self-conscious about that and please don't be it's, it's just so beautiful okay i think we are almost done i am just going to do my lips now and we are good to go with the island look on my lips today i'm going to wipe off the lip balm that i added earlier just so that my products work a little better we are going to be adding a cosmetics lip oil that has a nice well it's actually not an oil this is more like serum 
gloss, which is like skincare in a gloss, <laughs> which is really interesting. This is this shade, which is so beautiful and I think it will go really well together. I really think um, we are doing like nice and glowy makeup looks for the island or if it's the summer, it's like sun kissed. I think going with the red shade, best solution ever. And if you are to do any blush, go with red blush. And if you are to go with lip, go with this type of color. It's just so pretty and I think it goes well with the theme. I'm going to be adding a little bit of a lip pencil. I have one by Colourpop. I have wanted to try this one in my previous vlog of me unboxing the makeup. I will be using Colourpop Tees. This is a plumping one. Guys, this one has that minty after feeling, I would say, um, once you do it. So it gives you the illusion of bigger lips because it irritates the skin a little bit like the mint does and it just works like the plum pink lip glosses and it's actually really cool i don't see anyone talking about this one and i feel like everyone should talk about it it's really really cool it actually feels like you have mint on your lip i'm going to be lining up uh, my lips just a little bit i don't want to overline much and also it smells so good it smells like the peppermint candy i love this shade beautiful now i just want to fill in the inner corners here i already feel the plumping effect if i were to put it all over my lip you guys i think my lips are going to be like twice bigger right now that's crazy what do we think about this shade i feel like it matches the theme really really well as well but i'm going to be also adding this lip gloss and you're gonna see how well it goes together because i i think i'm envisioning it correctly it's gonna go really really nice together oh guys wait whoa that smells so good what is this <laughs> that smells really really good first of all the shade is called self determined but this smells like, like cherry Oh, that's just beautiful. Um, I'm gonna put it on my top lip right now, but I'm speechless. I'm really speechless. And yes, I was right. Like, I just need a moment of silence. I don't know. I don't know what you guys are going to think. I am reviewing this lip gloss right now. This, this is the prettiest lip gloss I have tried on myself. And I'm not i'm not a fan like i just said like i'm not a big fan of lip gloss and it's not sticky that much it does not feel sticky okay it's so can you marry a lip gloss that's beautiful i'm in love i'm obsessed <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I think I nailed the shade for this look. So let me now just fix up the camera and I'll show you the final look. Okay, this is the final look. What do we guys think about this makeup look and just in general how I review these products? I tried three new products here today and I feel like they're gorgeous. Like, I love that lip balm. It feels really nice. And I'm not really sure about the Chubby Stick by the Clinique, but it blended in really nicely, matches my tan so i don't mind it and the lip gloss this one stole my heart and i really think that it puts everything together and it looks really gorgeous i am obsessed okay you guys i'm up close and personal so you could visualize it a little better but i do have to say goodbye for this video i am very thankful for you watching it don't forget to watch the previous video so that you could get all in depth of what i did for my skincare and of course, I will be making new videos very, very soon. So don't forget to click like, subscribe, and notifications on to see more videos like this. I cannot wait to see you on my next one. Thank you again for watching. Goodbye.